This piece is called Wild Nature. And as you can see, she's made out of fall colors, what looks like tree branches and leaves. And there's reds and golds, the different colors that you can get in a northern climate, you know, like the uh, Northeast or in Canada, Michigan, places like that. And the mixed media piece, it took me years to get to this point. She began as a pen and ink drawing using black ink on white paper. I believe, I don't know if, it, if I used uh, drawing paper or if it was watercolor paper, but it was one or the other and drawn from my imagination. I'm, I'm an intuitive artist. This is a mixed media piece. It took years to get to the stage. Obviously, I wasn't working on it that whole time, but I set it aside. But um, that's what I do sometimes. It takes a while, and I'm not looking for perfection or realism or that. I'm, I'm looking to express something. I'm looking to express a mood and a feeling. And uh, what I've been working on, I've been working on things like that. Um, so yeah, that, I just wanted to share this with you and uh, I'm finally starting to get closer towards what my vision was in terms of how she looks. How, she's from imagination, but how the colors look, um, the feeling of it, the warmth of it, the warmth of the golds and the reds and stuff like that and and just the overall mood and feeling of it. It's a, she's a, I would say, a semi-abstract, figurative abstract piece. Most of her face isn't too abstracted, um, but there's abstraction in the rest of the piece. And you can sort of tell that her kind of wild nature, her wild hair is made out of like tree branches and like brush. It looks like a forest that's making up a lot of her head and body you know, except for where the cheek is and the nose and her face. But anyway, that's, that's the vision that I had. Um, so she is kind of wild and that's by design. That's what I want. I like that wildness. I don't like what's sane and tame and all the same in this realm. I like difference. I like mood. I like passion. I like feeling. I like sometimes I like very colorful things like the fall colors in this. It's it's a very colorful piece. So anyway, um, I worked on colorizing this digitally. So it is a mixed media piece. It took stages to get to this level, or to get. To, it went through phases to get to where it is at this stage, you could say. And it's been a work in progress for years, and I just wasn't happy with the way that it was before this. That's why I worked on it some more. So I ended up working on that today, tonight. And uh, I think there's a, a feeling of peace to this. There's wildness, but there's the colors that, that I put together here. I'm, I'm happy with the way that this turned out, the warmth of it. And I'm still working on it. This is almost like a trial run. This is a smaller version. And that's what I do. I mean, I... A lot of my artwork goes through those stages that way. And sometimes I'll just change something completely. But that's what I love about having a laptop too, where I can take a completed work on paper or a drawing and I can work on that. Years later, I can, I can add color to it or I can do different things. And it, it might be a piece that I've already sold. It might be whatever the case may be. You know, I can just make it different. And I love difference. I don't like sameness. I like difference. So if I want to make her colors different, I'll do that. And that's what I do. And that's what I enjoy doing. And uh, there are some other artists that have enjoyed that in the past, making something and then making 10, 20 different versions, different colors, playing around with it. Ch it changes the feeling and it changes the mood. And that's what I'm into. It's really what I'm into. So there you go. Thanks for watching. And, uh, Thanks.
Bye. Have a good night, everyone. Take care.